I had just had my son, Cameron, uh, eight days prior. I went to wash my hands and all of a sudden the pain started. It radiated through my shoulders, it was in my chest, it went down the back of my arms. I remember thinking, did something fall on me? And I turned around and looked over my shoulder and there was nothing. I had had a C-section, so I was on pain medication and was still in so much pain that I couldn't stand up. I could hear it in my ears and I could feel it in my teeth and I knew that we had to go to the ER. I had an ultrasound and they realized that I had suffered a spontaneous coronary artery dissection or SCAD. My LAD was torn about halfway down and was blocked 100%. The whole experience was really surreal. The first things out of my mouth were, oh, I need to cancel my visitors for tomorrow. And then the next thing I started thinking about was if I was gonna die. And if I was gonna die, what Brian, my husband, needed to know about how he should raise our son and where he should move. But I didn't know that I was having a heart attack. And it wasn't until the next day when I was in the ICU so they brought a cardiac rehab nurse in and she starts the conversation by telling me this is standard for all patients who've had a heart attack. So I responded, oh no, I'm sorry, you're wrong. I had a dissection and that was the moment when I realized. And it still didn't make sense because I was 28 and I ate healthy and I exercised even while I was pregnant and I never smoked and nobody in my family had had a heart attack before. One of the things that I started doing after was blogging. Being able to share my story and tell people that this happened to me and there is life after it. You can be heart healthy and you can teach your child how to be healthy. When I'm cooking, easy doesn't cut it anymore. I want to make fresh and healthy meals. There won't be fast food in our house. You do it not just for yourself because now you have this child. I want to be there for the first day of school. I want to see him at prom and I have to make these decisions now for those things to happen.